Okay, so I wanted to show a brief little setup <coughs> option for this um, Arduino Nano um, RF power meter using the Mini Circuits ZX 47-60-S Plus. So I started thinking last night that um, this device has a little, that's the USB um, port for the Arduino Nano and I wanted to be able to power this thing off of a battery so um, I've got a couple of these different types of cables this one has a uh, regular USB female and I think that's called a micro B it's the kind that fits into a typical cell phone so a lot well um, I can plug this into my battery Let's see if I can do this with one hand Okay, this is a cell phone battery, and they're fairly cheap. This one's 3,500 milliamps. I think it was about 20 bucks. Um, to turn it on, you press this button. And the lights come on. Four bars is a full charge, so this is less than full charge. So right now it's putting out five volts. Okay, so turn it back off. Hook up uh, another cable. Hold on. And now I can change the type of connection to fit the one that goes in the Arduino Nano. Okay, so this, on. this just plugs in the back here. Sorry for the camera shaking. And if I can do it with one hand. Okay, now get this turned around. Turn it on. Press the button a couple of seconds, and voila, hold on, there you go. Okay, so this is a uh, Lightcraft XG3, it's outputting a little less than 0 dB, it says 0 dB, but it's a little less. Um, so and this is connected up to the nano, and there's my accurate me well, my measurement of what's coming out of it. And it's still running off the battery here. It's actually a blue screen with white letters, but the camera is not picking up the contrast right. But anyway, gives you an idea of. What it looks like now I'll switch the power level and I'll switch it again this time it'll drop out should yeah so that's that's about the bottom so it kind of fluctuates because there's it's basically not picking it up but it's it's really close to the the bottom of it this little number here on the the 2.3 is a uh, voltage measurement off the X uh, the ZX 47-60 and uh, that's basically too high for this device to measure um, accurately so when I change it back to 33 or uh, 41 dBm um, you can see this number here gets stable again because it's getting a, a decent reading pretty much anything less than minus 64 dBm it's gonna float it doesn't have enough signal for the detector to pick it up so this is putting out uh, this is on two meters right now so 100, 144 megahertz but this little device can go from uh, 10 megahertz all the way up to 8,000 megahertz um, and I wanted to get something like this so that I'd be able to uh, measure some uh, measure make some measurements on a beacon that I've been uh, uh, several beacons that I've been working on and it, I need to be able to measure very weak signals uh, as it's going through its transmit chain Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um, 
I just wanted to show the use of a cell phone battery because it makes it super portable. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, you can also um, use a, a cell phone charger. So you could plug it into 110 volts or whatever your power is uh, where you live. Um, or you can plug it into a computer and power it off of that. Or you could, uh, you know, make your own power supply. Um, you can also run the Arduino off of, um, I think it's 7 to, um, I think it's 7 to 20 volts max. But, uh, so, you know, you could run it off of a car battery or, um, generally they recommend 12 volts when you're using the VN pin, V-I-N pin, volts in. So that's it. Wanted to show you how it came along.